Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy leftover eating day. If you were celebrating Thanksgiving yesterday with your friends and family, I hope that you're all having a wonderful and relaxing holiday weekend. And even if you aren't celebrating Thanksgiving or you're watching this video many weeks later, I still hope that you are having a fabulous day. Today I have one of my favorite monthly lifestyle boxes that I open here on the channel. And according to the Nobody Awards, which as of filming are currently in the voting process, it is one of your favorites as well. It is a currently a contender for top monthly lifestyle box, so we'll see if it winds up being the winner. But this is what the deluxe box looks like. Now this is a box that I purchase for myself. I usually do a three month subscription just because I don't necessarily have the budget to do the annual subscription for 12 boxes up front, even though that is where you will see the most savings. If you want to subscribe on a monthly basis, that is definitely an option as well. So this deluxe box is going to have five to seven items and usually there's just one or two extra items that are not in the standard box. The deluxe box is $44 per month plus $12 in shipping and the standard box which has four to five items minus those extras that are of course in the deluxe box that is going to be $42 plus $10 in shipping. So if you're going on a month to month basis it's really only a $4 difference but like I said you will see more savings if you're able to do a multi-month subscription right up front. I am going to leave a link for you in the description box below. It's a referral link and basically it will save you 5% but it also helps me keep the box on the channel because I get a little bit of credit to go back towards purchasing boxes. So let's go ahead and open it up and inside of course printed on the interior of the box they do tell you all about the concept of Hygge which in case you are not familiar I'll give you the quick rundown it is the Danish concept of coziness of warmth savoring the simple things in life uh, definitely acknowledging and being inspired by nature and it's what I really associate with the fall and winter months especially because we kind of go into hibernation mode a little bit and uh, really savoring friends and family and and that slow time of year so Although I know the holiday season for a lot of us does not feel like the slow time of year, but you know what I mean. You just get to snuggle up a little bit more. So they always include a beautiful art print. I think this is one is lovely. And then on the back side, it is going to have the uh, contents of the box. And they usually have a little introductory paragraph at the top, which sometimes has some spoilers. So sometimes I read it, sometimes I don't. And then at the bottom, it will tell you what is in the deluxe box. Now, I cannot tell you the last time that the deluxe box actually included two extra items. I feel like it's almost always been one probably this entire year so of course there are five items in the standard box and then in the deluxe box there are six because there's an additional one something that you can always count on in a Hugo box there's always going to be an element of light so it could be a candle it could be fairy lights an element of light an edible indulgence so a treat and often they're on the sweeter side especially in the colder months every once in a while we'll get something a little bit more savory I do actually like kind of a mixture of the two and then you'll also get something nice and warm to drink not always warm but usually we'll get something like tea or hot chocolate something like that so um, you already know three of the five items essentially at least in terms of category you're gonna get something to drink something to eat and then an element of light so for me it, it takes some of the mystery out of it which is a good thing because sometimes when you have like an entirely mystery box you never know what you're gonna get but after being subscribed now to Hugo box for over three years now I think I kind of have a good idea. The curations in the fall and the winter are usually the ones that are truly, truly on point. So it says the theme is wander. It says in the Higa spirit, wandering is not about a destination, but rather a celebration of the journey itself. It's the pleasure of strolling through nature's canvas where every step whispers stories of seasons past amidst golden woods and amber hued meadows wrapped in the softest of socks. While you cradle a steaming mug of hot chocolate, you may stumble upon the clarity you seek much like the way a wandering stream finds its course. It's a time for reflection for letting your thoughts wander like the leaves free and unburdened wandering is a respite for the soul a reminder to slow down and savor the moments so a couple spoilers in there for sure but also just all those very higgelig which just means like 
Hygge-ish um, words like savor, slow down, respite, reflection, right? So I'm gonna prop this up in front of me so that I can tell you about it as we go through. We have some kind of golden uh, tissue paper here and a little sticker. Every once in a while, they'll send something that's a little bit too big to fit in the box and then they just put the box and that extra large item into a mailer bag so it does come that way sometimes. So inside we see a whole bunch of tissue. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. Ah, oh, I was just talking about this brand, I think in a 180 degree box. Uh, it's a great brand and I think the first time I did see it was in Hugo Box. Let me just dust it off. This is our edible indulgence. It is from Lady Joseph. It's their artisan vegan biscuits. So these are chocolate filled. I almost thought they were hazelnut for a second, but I bet they're going to be delicious. So let's read about this. It says, picture this, you're wrapped up in a cozy blanket with a cup of the finest hot drinking chocolate and now the perfect companion, creamy, dreamy, vegan chocolate filled cookies. Each bite is a symphony of flavors, a harmonious blend of crispy exteriors and a lusciously creamy interior. The cookies are like a comforting hug on a chilly day, a warm embrace of cocoa goodness for your soul. I like that, I like that. So let me see. Oh yeah, so they look like a little, uh, they look like big Hershey's Kisses. They're definitely gotten a little bit of breakage, but I'm sure they're still gonna taste just as delicious. So, all right, so that would be good with a little cup of tea. I feel like having this with hot chocolate might be a bit much, right? Because they're already chocolate flavored, but I think with tea or coffee, they might be really, really good. Okay, speaking of that hot chocolate that they do keep on, um, they do keep on spoiling. Ooh, this looks amazing. It's from Lumineux, which is the chocolate brand that I think Do Good uh, Company, Doing Good Company actually uses in their boxes, their gift boxes. So this is 68% dark chocolate drinking chocolate. So you can see it's kind of nice. It's like in nice small pieces. So this is gonna be some quality drinking chocolate. It says chocolate is the epitome of warmth, comfort, and indulgence. Crafted with care and love, Illumina 68% dark drinking chocolate is more than just a beverage. It's an invitation to embark on a sensory journey from the comfort of your own home. Imagine a chilly evening in a remote cabin nestled deep in the woods. The only sounds are the crackling of a wood-burning stove and the gentle whispers of the wind outside. This is the essence of Hygge, a moment of pure contentment and connection with nature and oneself. So see, they're giving you a good definition of Hygge just in the descriptions. Some good copywriting there. I definitely appreciate that so basically you bring half a cup of milk to a simmer then whisk in a quarter cup of the drinking chocolate until smooth you can use your like morenillo if you have it you can use um, if you have one of those elect electric whisks you can use that you can just do a good stir as well but I do like a little bit of a froth on my good drinking chocolate you guys let me know how you like to make your hot cocoa or are you like a traditionalist and you like your Swiss miss I mean that's totally fine as well um, totally fine as well um, I always think of the uh, movie Chocola. That was such a good movie. All right, this is interesting. This, I believe, is our element of light, but it came in a really nice box. I always like when boxes have that kind of closure, although I will say sometimes it makes it a little bit difficult for me to open it on camera because I don't know which end of the string to pull. All right, I think I figured it out. So it says nomadic, but I'm pretty sure that this is actually our element of light. So, okay, well, I managed to get that open and the box is still... <laughs> <laughs> it's still sealed, so hmm. All right, let's see if I can get in there. So it's like a two-sided, two-lidded box. Oh, it's got lots of fluff in there. They sent us a cloud, I think, everyone. Oh, goodness. It looks like this is going to be one of those really delicate candles, and so that is why it was on some clouds. And it also looks like it's gonna be one of those candles that I do not want to burn and that you just use for decoration. I have a couple of those that I bring out every season. I have a beautiful little Christmas tree that I think I got in a Be Relaxed box once upon a time. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. If you love your gnomes, how adorable is this candle? Yeah, you couldn't burn this little guy, could you? Oh my goodness, how adorable is he? I would probably like just burn the wick enough so that it looks like a little more singed instead of bright white like that, but let me see if I can hold him up. Luckily, I don't think my hands will melt him too badly, but uh, you guys have to enjoy this little gnome guy while I read to you. It says, whether you're curling up with a good book, sharing cocoa with friends, or simply savoring the stillness of the moment, Nomadic is there to embrace, enhance your Hygge experience. Its whimsical gnome shape adds a touch of enchantment to any room, creating 
a delightful atmosphere that's perfect for relaxation and togetherness. More Hugo words there. It says this candle serves mainly as a decorative item and is almost too cute to burn. However, if you would like to burn your candle, please place it on a dish or a fireproof sturdy surface. I feel like you'd have to put it on like a little, you know, rustic ceramic dish or like a little mushroom or something. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm like, I'm not like a huge gnome person, but um, a little gnome candle, look how cute he is. And they did such a great job of wrapping him up. So I'm gonna carefully, after I film this video, put him back in the tissue paper, which seems a little scratchy, and put him back into his clouds. I almost wanna, I wanted to pick him up by the wick, but I'm afraid it'll almost like whip, <laughs> whip out of his hat. Look how cute he is just sitting in the like, clouds. I might keep this like cotton because it kind of looks like snow, right? <laughs> or or suds. Ah, oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. All right. So, so we got our three standard things, right? We already got our edible indulgence. We got our, uh, our drinking item, our, our nice warm thing to drink. And of course we got our element of light. So now we are on to something that you'll all laugh at. And this is something that I'd say we get in Hugo boxes, maybe like once or twice a year, maybe probably like twice to three times a year, which is socks. <laughs> but I don't mind these. These are kind of like dress socks that you could use in like boots. So that says, and these are very appropriate for me. These are for women sizes uh, four to 10. They're from a company called Foot Traffic. And it says that classic, not all who wander are lost. We love that. Socks for the Hugo lifestyle aficionado. The majestic mountains, a compass, and a terrain map invite you to chart your own path. It's all there, woven into the very fabric of these socks. The inspiring quote, not all who wander are lost, serves as a reminder that every step you take is a part of your unique journey. So I do love these, you guys. Let me go ahead and see if I can pull them out to show you because they're adorable and I'm not going to guarantee that they won't just appear in one of my giveaways eventually because I, I just don't need that many socks because I very rarely even wear boots even though I love the look of them. It's just they're just kind of a hassle to me you guys I honestly so let me see I gotta gotta grab my scissors. I thought I could I thought I could push the tab through the hole but it's just gonna take too long and there's not much room on there so let me see if I can get the scissors to go. That's a no. <laughs> Let me see. It's, they're, they're very tightly pressed in there. Let's see. These are, might not be the right scissors to do that. So let's see if I can get it. Mm, I get myself with a piece of plastic. There we go. All right. So here they are. We've got these beautiful mountains. There is a compass there on the top of the foot. Let me see. Oh, now they're tied together. They're pinned together with one of those little silver clips. So you can see there's that compass on the top. These are actually lovely. I think they're so great. And then we have kind of like a map on the sole. Um, I think these are so pretty. I want to use these. If I had like high top hiking boots, I would totally use these. Actually, I could use them. I, I feel like with my hiking shoes and just you would see the, the sock go up the side if I was wearing like leggings. They're really cute. I might. These are really good socks. And if I'm going to keep a few pairs of socks, a handful full of socks. These are ones because you guys know I have a love of travel and wandering. Um, these might be ones to hold on to. Very, very cute. And it goes with the theme. I like that. And then the final item that is going to be in all of the standard boxes and then of course in the deluxe boxes. This is something that I've gotten in a lot of boxes in the past. Um, not necessarily this particular brand or color. It is from Le Marche or it's actually from Danica Now Designs which we get a lot of Danica Designs items in different boxes and I usually love them. They're great for all kinds of housewares and decor. So this is their Le Marche um, shopping bag. Uh, their Save It or Sac à Provision. So look at the fun color though with this one. So it's a little bit different. So it's that classic mesh um, shopping bag that really is great for produce. Also great for like toys at the beach because the sand just falls through it and you don't bring it all home with you. It's fun that it has a different color for the handle and it is a nice soft long handle. So you could definitely put this over your shoulder when you're coming home from the farmer's market. But these are great to just put with your regular more square grocery bags that you use. Like we have to take our own grocery bags to the store. They have ones that you can purchase, but I like to try to be a little more eco-friendly and um, also save 10 cents here and there. So I usually try to have all my shopping bags together and I have a few of these that I use for produce and sometimes they're just great because you can, um, they're not as bulky as the big foldable uh, reusable grocery bags. You can just like kind of 
bunch these up and stick them in your purse, right? So it says, the French have always been a la mode or in fashion, and that even speaks to the stylish mesh shopping bag they use going out to the markets. Now you can have your very own French shopping bag. Made from lightweight and durable cotton, the beautiful alternative to plastic bags is reusable and can hold up to 22 pounds. So you may have to take trips to the farmer's market and collect a bounty of fresh produce with so you may take trips to the farmer's market and collect a bounty of fresh produce with relative ease. It also makes a convenient tote bag to carry with you on your adventures and get togethers. So for sure. And then of course you can always see everything inside. So these are always kind of a nice thing to take when you travel as well, because they don't take up a lot of room in your larger suitcase or bag. And then trust me, you will find treasures to fill it up with along the way. All right, so let's see what our deluxe box extra item is. I will tell you, it is not usually my favorite when the deluxe box item uh, is a self-care item. I don't know why, it's just for me, that never feels like a hero item. And it, there's nothing in their literature that says that the items that are in the deluxe box that are not in the standard box need to be the hero items. Um, but I just feel like they should be. <laughs> So that's just my personal opinion. So I usually prefer when it is like a home decor item or, you know, a beautiful accessory. Like last month we got that lovely scarf. This time it's, uh, it's not really, you'll see. It is uh, from a brand called Beauty Kitchen, which we used to get, I think, a lot in like Bombay and Cedar. I think we also used to get it maybe in like Therabox. So it says, embark on a fragrant journey with Breathe Essential Oil Spray, where every shower becomes an opportunity to wander through a eucalyptus forest, a place of solace and serenity. As you inhale, it gently opens up your sinuses, allowing you to breathe deeply and freely. No more congestion, just pure, unadulterated clarity. So it's kind of like a shower shower and spa spray which you know it basically uh, gives you the effect of a shower steamer without the messiness of a shower steamer so I do like these I do try to use them especially when it's like eucalyptus and it really is gonna kind of open up your sinuses which is really nice maybe make you feel a little bit more invigorated kind of give you that spa like feeling so this is a good item it's just to me it's not like a hero item you know what I mean like I feel like our little gnome guy would have been like a hero item, but I understand that he was considered our element of light this time around. So it makes more sense for this to be our extra item than like say the socks, but I'm usually like more impressed when we get like a beautiful bowl or I don't know, I don't know. And this doesn't necessarily make me think of the theme wander either. Not to say that every single thing has to go with it, but sometimes I think that the extra item that's in the deluxe box should really like drive home the theme. That's just my personal opinion. But overall, it was a really beautiful box and I, I do like it. I'm excited about all of the, the three standard things. I think the chocolate biscuits, even though they're, they're a little crumbled, are gonna be delicious. I do like a good drinking chocolate around this time of year. As you know, I think that this little nomadic candle is my favorite item this time around. Then the two extra items that we got in the standard boxes, the market tote, the socks, these just feel like very standard um, subscription box items to receive, but I like these versions of them a lot. So that's some, saying something, right? When you, there's, there's certain things you get in boxes a lot. So sometimes they stand out more than others. Great socks, great fun color for the market tote. And then finally our extra item. Again, it's just a $4 difference in all honesty between the shipping and the box price itself. If you're on a monthly subscription, we got this eucalyptus shower spray. So it'll be a fun thing to use. I'm just not like super duper excited about it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite item? What do you think about this gnome candle? Would you burn it? I mean, there's there's only so many candles that you can save, right? And like put away every year, but he is so cute. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up, maybe a comment. I truly appreciate all of your support and get back to that wonderful weekend that you're all having. And I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.